Okay, another proper match, 10 minute game. gone into a deep deep thing here on reflection it's probably better pushing this one because you have the potential for a fork here with the pawn on this side reason why I go this side is it's further away from my king so if if there's going to be an open file I prefer it to be further away from my king Just press onto the queen first. Okay. Let's bring the bishop back. So I think it's individual taste, isn't it? If you want to open a file close to your king, then go for it. Um, I'm more comfortable being away from the king. But sometimes I'll vary it. So he's moved the knight because the pawn was going to be pressing onto it anyway. Obviously, this is going to be coming through the center just to mess up the structure. So we could beat them to the punch and mess up the structure but we've only got one piece supporting so the pawn would take and then we'd lose out so let's forget that for now i have been known to just jump with the knight in here the knight takes and the pawn is on the knight and um, it's a bit sketchy that one because you know you're leaving them a little bit with control with the pawns in the middle Just going to do a small move to see what the opponent does. It's like a little mini scud missile. 
it's gone straight away attacking there okay so let's just bring this pawn here it's for some reason it doesn't like our pawns being on this side I thought it probably would have attacked more here but maybe he likes his little structure that he's got going on with his pawns here just lock it down now so it's all going to be a little lockdown situation ooh it's not let's grab so we've now got an open file how quickly is he going to move his rook there The basics such as like rooks owning open files really does ring true even in the higher grade, higher level games if you get your rooks on there balanced it works out quite nicely only time I probably wouldn't do it really is when you've got the bishops you know aligned on that file and there's no way made that you're gonna win anything on that on that file so he's pushing down it's not actually gone for ownership of the file per se so knight currently doesn't have anything so the bishop's going to come here just to x-ray through to the queen yeah so we just did that just to make them do something let's just bring the queen back here deep thoughts now what is their plan for the like we said now we're starting the, the attack process so I was just about to say what's his plan for attack now I would assume he's now going to start focusing on the king area for the answer process he's already got his knight nicely placed he's ready for his queen to come through get this bishop on this side so let's not get so hung up on the open file at the minute let's have a look at what they're attempting to do i'm going to grab the pawn i'm not going to waste any breath i'm going to take and i'm going to take the knight then i'm going to squeeze onto his queen so i've got my knight in a nice position now in readiness for any king side attack that they're potentially putting in place a change in the mind's mind process we've talked about the answer and um, we've talked about you know blocking off the um, the answer from the opponent for me it's taking it one step further actually properly focused on a good counter-attacking solution it's nice being able to block it off and then you focus on your own answer but having a good counter-attacking position to me that's what I'm trying to focus on now because more than more than 80% of the games I can see what the opponent is attempting to do to the king area but I just don't put my pieces in the right places because I'll either go oh it'll take a few moves before they actually get that in place type thing so he's gone for like a, a mini battery ish type thing it's not hitting anything at the moment so we want to make sure that we're appropriately placed to cause some damage I'm going to attack the queen again with a smaller piece just trying to make them feel unsettled because he's got these batteries could look there and um, we've got to remember that we can actually just take that off the board with our queen and we can attack but he's now controlling this square oh sorry this square with the bishop so we have to be mindful of that because that is ownership of the file so we don't really want it there do we this pawn is protected at the minute um, is there any way of attacking this bishop yes so I'm going to bring my knight around to attack the bishop to make it feel uncomfortable in the meantime he'll be looking to own the file with his rooks not doing it at the moment so we'll do a double attack it's probably going to come here now to defend the pawn which takes it off of the diagonal so that mini counter attack that we did there against it yes so it's taking him off 
so we could look to bring the rook here maybe a two on one try and get them defensive they bring their rooks to protect the pawn maybe not sure his knight does have a nice beautiful outpost which is going to be annoying for us because he's potentially going to use it oh <laughs> i'm just saying <laughs> oh dear so if we come up um, we're away from the gaze of the knight function are we? yeah so the bishop can move so we'll do that because we want to, them to feel def that they have to be defensive a two on one bring the rook across be mindful the knight is looking here so if we did bring this rook across he's going to have a fork on us knight's protecting the bishop it's just that it's whoa oh no did i just release a pawn i did didn't i let's take i just released the pawn knight has a check on the king for a bit of a tempo win to actually grab this pawn oh and he's taking it let's grab so we're on the knight does he have some sort of fork situation Okay, so it got a bit frantic there. Double up. Yep. So on the face of it, I'd say it's okay. It's just obviously we haven't got a flight square for the king. The knight is very flexible. It's looking a bit energetic. And there is this file here. I prefer to double. Could have gone here just to block off. But then if he'd come there, then it's, he still would have been. Oh, he's now looking to push this pawn down. We need, I think, to do something about this knight. So I think we need to be pressing onto the knight just to get it out of the way. It's clouding the position. So take its way back over here. Maybe sit our king here comfortably. A bit slow those moves. Yes, he's gone. So it's wanting to drop down. It's going to be a passer. We don't want it being a passer. Bishop could just sit there, couldn't it? right and do nothing just block it would be quite nice if this bishop was hitting that square because then we could go for a double attack so if we went like that just to get rid of the rooks <laughs> is that right if he takes takes yeah okay he might now decide to give his king a flight square in any event we could still go there he's not he doesn't have to take he could just leave it there then we take he takes so I still have the box clever because obviously he's going to want to protect this pawn so he's probably going to want to keep a rook on this side what are we on four minutes there four minutes there on one minute and something resist the urge to go fast as well we've made good time try and stay focused king's got a flight square that was our panic area yeah so it's gone like we said so i think it's time to see whether or not that happens and that happens now he's got a flexible knight we do have a functional bishop I've got used to both of them now so well I didn't like bishops before but I've got myself used to what they can potentially do just going to attack king's coming up let's move let's move let's move Can't come here, can't come there. Okay. 
Okay, so what do we do now? Attack the knight. Bring the bishop here. Attack the knight. Let's go check on my king. Hmm, excuse me. It's moving fast. Let's go here. Oh, he's on 40 some seconds. Okay. Dark square. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? It's like magic, isn't it? Let's go here. 37 seconds it's like unbelievable magic <laughs> again since we've been practicing the full on version the complete version we've been not doing too badly excellent so training does help and find once you find out what it is that you need to work on if you're then drilling that and constantly putting it into your game you're definitely going to see some types of benefits it's not saying I'm going to win all of my games at all it's not saying that what it's saying is I'm feeling a lot better about my games because of what I've learned from analyzing my own games and then applying that the solutions to the learning and uh, so I'm feeling quite comfortable and happy with that hmm 